welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Monday and I am ready to um, stay on track this week. I'm motivated and um, if you're new here, my name is Mia and I follow the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. So I am getting ready to do breakfast and I figured I would take you along um, just to show you what I'm eating today. So if you're new, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And um, check out my channel because I have a bunch of what I eat in a day videos if you're interested in that. So I'm going to keep this intro short and let's get started. Okay, so I have all of my breakfast items laid out here this morning. And I'm just going to go through them and tell you their points and break it down for you that way. So, um, like I said, I am starting with breakfast. And I have some of this Smithfield fully cooked bacon. I'm going to do three strips of that for two points. And I'm probably just going to stick this in the microwave and prepare it that way. I have some buttermilk Eggo waffles. And I'm going to have one of these this morning for three points. Two of them is six points. And I'm going to pair that with some spray butter, which is zero points. And I have some Maple Grove Farms sugar-free syrup. You can have an up to uh, one and a fourth cup of this, up to one and a fourth cups for zero points and that's what I'm going to have. I usually don't even use that much so this stuff's really good if you've never tried it. And I just have some green grapes so I'm going to prepare that and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm just going to get a plate and I have my bacon. I'm going to open that up really quick. I hope you guys are ready for the new week and you're motivated to stay on track and you've got a plan for what you're going to eat this week. So, here's my bacon. I'll try to get it out of the package. I ended up putting this in the freezer, which was probably not a very good idea because it's like stuck together now. We're just going to cook this all. I'm not going to eat it all. I'll put it in the refrigerator, but it's like five pieces. It's all stuck together because I ended up putting it in the freezer on accident. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to pop it into the microwave for um, about 30 seconds. I'm just going to seal this back up and stick it in the refrigerator. Okay, so I'm just going to wash my grapes really quick and make sure those are clean. And then I'm going to um, just put those on my plate. I think my bacon is done and my waffle just popped up. So I'm going to finish breakfast and I'll show you what it looks like. So I did leave the extra two pieces of bacon on there. I can have five of those for three points, making my total breakfast six points. Put some spray butter on that. This is what kind I have. a little bit of the sugar-free syrup. And that's about it. Here's breakfast. I'm gonna get my water ready this morning. I have just two bottles. I put some ice in here. And this is just gonna keep me on track throughout the day. I have the hardest time drinking my water, so this just helps me to have it with me and I don't have to keep filling it up a bunch of times. So this should hold me over for a little while. I'm just going to close this up. I have a lot of editing to do today and just some online work for school and I'm going to be busy, so I got my water ready. I'm getting ready to start on lunch, you guys. This is a new recipe. Okay, so I've never made this recipe before. So I have some spray butter. I have some turkey pepperoni. I have some reduced fat mozzarella cheese. I have some pizza sauce, garlic, and some bread. So I'm going to make like a little pizza bread type thing. Um, get me 
a little measuring cup. So I'm just going to spray my bread. Two, two slices of this is four points. So I'm gonna spray one of my breads. Flip it over. I'm going to open my pizza sauce. I'm just gonna do um, probably like a big tablespoon of this. They didn't have marinara, so I just bought traditional. I plan on making like um, maybe two ingredient pizzas this evening for dinner. So I figured I would try to use some of this sauce and use it as, for lunch as well. I'm gonna get me a spoon and open this. So I'm just gonna take like one big tablespoon and I'm not counting this because it said um, you can have quite a bit for one point and that's not one point. So I'm not counting that sauce. You can if you want to. I have some cheese here. I can have a fourth of a cup of this for three points. So I got a fourth of a cup measure out. I'm gonna dump that on there. And then I'm gonna do about eight of these turkey pepperonis for one point. So all in all, this will be eight points. I have um, four points for my bread, three points for my cheese, and one point for my pepperoni. So I'm gonna spray this. And I'm gonna put some garlic on it. I should have garlic the other side, but I didn't. I'm gonna flip it over. Smush it down a little bit. I'm going to flip it over. I might put some more spray butter and garlic this side as well. I lost some of my cheese. what it's looking like so far. Looks good actually. It smells really good. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I'm just going to flip this over one more time and get it a little bit more crispier on the other side. This smells so good you guys. I'm definitely going to be making this for lunch more often. Um, eight points. It's not too bad. It's sort of like a little pizza bread and I think I'm really going to like this. So I'm just going to cut it and put it on my plate and I'm going to call it lunch you guys. I figured I'd give you guys one more look at it. Here it is on the plate. It's got the pepperoni in there. It's all hot and bubbly. The cheese is really looking good too. So I think this is amazing and I can't wait to dig into this. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. It's iced coffee time. I have iced coffee every day, usually, just as a little treat to myself. It's sweet, it keeps the cravings down, and that's just what I do. So, if you've been watching my last couple videos, I've had the um, Dunkin' Donuts coffee because I was out of this, but I did go back to Target and I got me some more. I love this stuff. Shake it up, I've never opened it. This is zero points. But the Dunkin' that I was drinking was, um, I had to count points for that and I, I didn't like that about it. It tasted pretty much the same. This is a little bit better, I feel like. But I'm gonna do um, around a cup of this and I just eyeball it. I make this every day, so you can measure it if you want to, but it's zero points. Um, and then I have my creamer, it's sugar-free. You can have five tablespoons for two points. I absolutely love this stuff. It's my favorite, 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 favorite. And like I said, it just keeps the cravings away. 
So I'm gonna measure this out. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, sometimes I eyeball it. But since you guys are watching and I'm showing you how to do it, I'll measure it. There's two, three, four, five for two points. You don't have to use it with iced coffee. Look, I made a mess. But you can um, you can put it in hot coffee as well. It tastes really good. I've had it that way before. I'm just an iced coffee kind of girl, I guess. I'd rather have iced coffee than cold or hot coffee. But this is what it looks like. Look at my mess I made. But it's really good. It's got a really good flavor. And I highly recommend this for a low point coffee if you are um, on the Weight Watchers program or even if you're not. It's still a really good iced coffee. I would drink it whether I was doing this or not. So this is this is what I'm having. So um, two point coffee. Okay, so for dinner, I'm gonna make some calzones out of two ingredient dough. I have some Hudson cream flour, and I have some non-fat um, plain Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna do one cup of the flour, and this is gonna make four calzones. So there'll be three points. For the dough per each cow zone once I get done because it says 11 points for one cup of this divided into four so I'm gonna do one cup of flour and then I'm gonna do one cup of the Greek yogurt stir this up a little bit One cup of this. And I'm going to dump this in here. And then mix this around. Until it starts incorporating itself okay now I'm going to put this onto a floured pan or a floured piece of aluminum foil for now, and then I'll put it onto my pan. So I'm just gonna roll it out. This is what I got going on here with this. I just have a piece of Reynolds wrap and some flour on here. And I'm just going to put that on here and try to form a ball with it. Like that. Then I'm gonna cut this into fours like this. I'm gonna get a knife. Okay, I'm gonna separate that a little bit. Then I'll start making my cow bones. I'm just gonna flatten this out. I'm gonna get a pan really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my pan with cooking spray. I just use olive oil. Let's get this down, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Here's my pan. Okay, so I'm just going to flatten this out a little bit. And then I'm gonna put my ingredients in here. I have some pepper stir fry here. I'm gonna be using some of that. I have some turkey pepperoni and I have some mozzarella. Okay, so I'm gonna put one table. 
tablespoon of sauce in there, a little bit more. I'm gonna do some turkey pepperoni. I'm gonna do like five of those, six of those. I'm gonna do a fourth of a cup of cheese for three points. And I'm gonna do some peppers. Which will be zero points. And I'm gonna fold it over. Try to fit everything in there, it broke. This is not working. And I'm just gonna lay it in there like that. I'm just gonna fold it over, lay it in there like that. It's not gonna be pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit of spray butter and a little bit of garlic powder on that. And call it a day. I'm gonna do the next one. little bit of sauce, some pepperonis, Try to fold it over. Put it in the pan. Put some spray butter. Some garlic. So it'll be three points for the two ingredient dough. Zero points for the sauce for one of them. Three points for the cheese. And one point for the pepperoni. And zero points for the peppers. So, seven points. They don't have to be pretty, as long as they taste good. You can do a better job at it than me if you want to. You can take your time and do it. They're gonna taste the same no matter what, so. I'm just gonna spray the top. I think I just put too much stuff in them to close them all the way, but that's okay. We're gonna eat them, and it's not gonna be the end of the world. We're not picky people. If you like it to be perfect, you can do that, but I'm not too worried about it.
put this in the oven for at 375 for about 12 minutes and check it and see what it looks like. Okay, you guys, so this is what it looks like once I got it out of the oven. These smell amazing. They look a little bit better once they've cooked, but I'm going to have this yummy little calzone for dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys hit your goal weight, you guys. So I have used 23 out of 23 points. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you later.